And Rob, it has been announced that Russell Westbrook is coming off the bench tonight against Minnesota, even though Anthony Davis is not playing. Obviously, they're not the same position, but the thinking was that if Anthony Davis played uh, or didn't play, Russell Westbrook would likely start. But he's coming off the bench. Uh, We can hit both of these. First of all, let's start with AD. And Rob, you've been seeing him over these few games, these last few games, holding his back. At times, he might get hit in the back or he moved a certain way and he just, you know, was debilitated for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever it might be. I felt like this was obviously coming and I'm not claiming to be a doctor, but you could see it. It's like, my goodness, like at some point he's going to have to sit out and he's doing it tonight. Your thoughts on that first? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. I think people keep saying, yeah, if Anthony Davis stays healthy. Like, that's the, the way you start every conversation right. when you talk about the Lakers. You can't, Chris, you can't have a real conversation without starting with that. I told you what I say. That was his name. That's his new you first name. You said that about Kawhi, but it's true about and, him too. Right. Like, right? Absolutely. If he, if he stays healthy, Anthony Davis. That That's where we are because... It seems to be the case time in and time out. And I'm, I'm sure that Laker fans are like, now what? We can't, are we going to Minnesota without AD can't play? Here's loss number five. Are we going to lose the first 11 games of the year? Uh, look at the schedule. It's well, brutal. W- what this does tells me, Rob, is, I mean, granted, we all know the Lakers aren't a very good team with or without Russell Westbrook. We all know they weren't going to win the West and get to the finals this year. But for those who held out hope, maybe that they could just make a nice playoff run, Rob. It's over. This year, I mean, you you talked about Kawhi. Like, we can't count on him anymore. Anything he gives you is gravy. Like, he's out of, when I look at the Clippers now, he's out of the equation. I think that's how Anthony Davis is now. I mean, sure, he can come back and play 20 games then sit out a few weeks and play 20 more, 15 more. But can you count on him? Rob, he said this was his best offseason ever. He said he wanted to play all 82 games, and he couldn't even couldn't even play every preseason game, and but couldn't even get through the first five more games. than a week of the season. And I don't know that it's his fault. I, I, I'm not going to say he didn't work hard. He didn't go into the offseason with the right mentality. But maybe his body's just letting him down. We saw it with Bill Walton. We see it with Kawhi Leonard. Some guys, that's just how it is. And maybe that's the case with Anthony Davis, right? Yeah. I mean, I think we're there. I think other than the um, – Bubble year, Chris, when they had the four months off, he stayed healthy that season. They didn't play that many games. And they didn't have to go anywhere. There was no travel. There was nothing. There was nothing to do during that time either. Everybody was locked down. There was nothing, you know, other than play basketball, Chris, and then get in bed or relax, you know? Like, there was nothing going on. And, Rob, what it tells you is that, I mean, maybe he's built, he can play half a season. That was like two half seasons. Right. And and ironic, interestingly, too, Rob, that's the only year in L.A. that LeBron's been fully healthy. Yep. Same thing. LeBron obviously is older. So, but he's been banged up every year. But A.D. should be right in his prime. So this is this is just horrible for the Lakers. Um, I mean, I, I don't that's the worst news to me for them. I mean, that could happen. Um, now, as far as Russell Westbrook. This is interesting because there was speculation. Um, I don't want to say it was unfounded. It was never proven, but it it makes sense to look at it this way, that the hamstring in the preseason game, Rob, that it was just Russ kind of reacting to coming off the bench. Right. That was his, uh, Um, see, look what happened to me. Right, That's why I can't do this. I mean, he blamed it on coming off the bench. Right. Uh, Obviously, it seems like the Lakers didn't buy it. Because missed the last game with a hamstring injury, and now he's coming off the bench tonight. So they didn't seem to buy that. But, look, we've talked about it. I've said I don't think Russ, I think he's similar to Allen Iverson. 
I don't think his he ain't going for ego it, would let him ha- handle it. And I don't even look at that as a negative. Um, I, you know, as far as like, that's what helped him be great. That's what helped Allen Iverson be great. But I will say this, Rob, Russell Westbrook is still being paid $47 million a year. And even if it was $4.7 million a year, you're still being paid. Be a professional and go out and do what your employer is asking you to do. They're not saying we're not going to pay you because you're not the player we thought you were. They're not saying we're not going to pay you because you don't fit our team. They still have to pay you. So you should go out and give it your all. That's what I think you should do. Yeah, I, I I agree. You should just be professional and see if they can work and find a place for you. But I, I just the way that they've handled this whole thing, Chris, is just it's just disaster to me. Like if you were going to go this route, you don't you remember when they uh, hired Darvin Ham? You remember you want to go back and play that speech about how he was going to get Russ to fit in and he was going to figure it out or all that. But this what? might be part of it. Uh, was this it? Oh, okay, I, maybe I you mean, might I, be. I, you might be right. I mean, I don't know. That's if not what I accepted. But you know, Russ was there. I doubt if it, he knew it was going to be off the bench. No. He would have been at the press conference, Chris. You remember but I, that? But I do think Darvin has been open that look, we're going to get Russ to buy into whatever we need him to do. That's not going to be like he used to. He's used to playing. And we're going to ask him to do some different things. We're going to ask him to defend. And it has been on the table. You know, a lot of people were like, yeah, right, whatever. But it has been on the table. You think this is going to turn the team around? Oh, no, no, not at all. I mean, I don't think there's anything, like, with the players they have, nothing is going to turn the team around. That's what I'm saying. I'm just asking, yeah. Like, for them, it's a way of, like, doing something so people don't think that we're just – we're not doing anything. We need to do something. We're not sending him home and paying him $45 million dollars. We, we're not giving our first-round pick, so we can't trade them. So we got to do something so that the fans can say, well, at least they benched them. You know what I mean? Like, that, well, that to me is where what I get. Yeah, I don't think it's that. I don't think they're just doing it to do it. Because let's be honest, Rob, this could cause more trouble than it's worth. You know what I mean? Like, if he really acts up, it just could get ugly. I mean, obviously, they could always just send him away from the team, but it could get ugly depending on how he acts. Obviously, the media, the press coverage is going to be crazy. I think when you say turn it around, make him a contender, make him one of the best teams in the West, no. But it could make them better. I'm not, And I'm not, I'm not trying to disrespect Russ. I'm just saying he clearly doesn't fit with the starting lineup because they need more shooting. And if you give him the second unit, he can play like he typically plays, and Russ can be Russ, and maybe that would make him better. Now, how good that would be, we'll, we'd see. It's not great, but I do think it could potentially make them better. So I don't think it's just a move to, like, save face and make it look like we're doing something. Yeah, that's what it feels like to me. That's, I just feel like they could have done that to, at the start of the season, Chris, if this was the plan, right? Instead, they didn't. They they still started him because they knew he was going to be upset they wouldn't even announce what the starting lineup was until like right before the game. Who, who, why? Who are you? Who are you? That that tells me. Well, I I do agree with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they're, like, they're like, concerned about his feelings, no doubt, or how he's going to respond. Because Chris, I you wouldn't have done that. that. You would have said he's going to come off the bench. We made a decision, and that's it. And they right. could have done that from the start of the season, rather than, well, we're going to tell you a minute before we start the first game, and then we're going to make a move because we're zero and four. Like that. That's what. If that's why yeah, it feels like it, it's reactionary. Yeah, I hear you on that. I feel you. All right. Um, the Lakers. Speaking of them, Rob Parker has another bone to pick with LeBron James. What a surprise! All right, LeBron's got a new venture. Rob G, tell us about it. Yeah, if you missed it during last night's Thursday night game, um, LeBron James, Maverick Carter, and co-creator Paul Rivera, the guys who behind the shop will be doing an alternate stream of Thursday Night Football starting November 17th. Those three guys will be hosting kind of like an Instagram live streaming of the uh, Thursday Night Game, similar to the Manning cast. So So. will it be like them sitting in, I don't know if it'll be in the shop, 
Or no, because be I like mean they'll be in different something. cities most of the time. Oh, right? you know, if, right? Well, LeBron will be on the road. will even be doing it right. Yeah, so all three. Okay. It'll be those three. The I guess the only caveat would be if the Lakers are playing on a yeah, Thursday. Yeah, I mean he'll obviously LeBron miss those. won't be there. Uh, you know those three. Those three. I I, I just so no guests. What would they get? They, they, no, they will have. They will have guests, but those three are the are the 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 faces, the anchors. Right. Okay. Yeah, I I just like your team is bad. Things are going. I just, I just wonder about having a venture, and I'm not saying that he can't do it on his own time or whatever, but I just wonder about stuff like that when things aren't really right, that you'll be spending a night worrying about football and doing a broadcast, uh, it, another one added to your plate. It just seems like uh, whatever happened to being a basketball player first during the season, you could do all the other stuff and... And I know you got more time than just when you practice. You got your own free time. It just seems a little bit much when your team is so bad and there's so many things that are going on. And I'm not would saying you like it better if his team was good. No, I'm just saying you would have. I, it, it's harder to argue if things Draymond, are good. It's harder to argue when that. No, I didn't like Draymond's when he was doing. That's what I'm saying. It. I'm you just don't saying like I don't Draymond like. And they win in the finals. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't like that that he was doing a podcast during the finals. You can do it whenever you want. I'm just saying it. It just it just doesn't feel right. That's all. I I don't have a problem with it. I mean, we've had look Shaq's making rap songs. Shaq well used to be used to make movies. Damian Lillard has made rap albums. Um, guys do commercials, Rob. You know, which takes a long time. You know that. I don't have a problem with it, especially especially this late in LeBron's career. But in general, I mean, you know, like you said, Rob, they got free time. It's not like he's cutting practice time. Or, you know, what's he going to be doing on the Thursday night anyway if he's not playing? Breaking down he's gonna film be with sitting there watching. No, <laughs> he's going to be watching the game anyway. So why can't he get paid for it? You know what I'm saying? And do the same thing this he would thing. be doing this, this if, if it wasn't a, a show. It's the same thing I said when he first came out here that, you know, he came to be a movie star or six foot eight Kevin Hart or just like involved in a lot of different things. And it's fine. I mean, he won the bubble he championship. He got his ring. But, but also, there have been the three years they haven't made the playoffs. I mean, uh, but, it, it, but I'm not saying, it, I'm not saying, is, is that, is that because he no, did Space just, Jam too? I'm just saying, I don't know. I, I just doesn't, <laughs> no, it doesn't feel, it doesn't not. feel good. It just doesn't feel good during that time. That's all. I'm an old school guy. Just come during out and season, say you got a problem with it. I, 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 Cause you start off like, I'm not saying he can't do anything. No, you I are saying no, that. No, but I, but I'm not, I'm not being unrealistic that he doesn't have free time. I'm not saying that he so doesn't. Then, it's just the, the optics of it look bad. Like you're doing all these other other te- things and your and Rome is burning. You're fiddling and Rome is burning. I, that's what it feels like. Yeah, but right. I, I get, I get that. But you would, uh, if Rome wasn't burning, <laughs> if Rome was thriving, you'd be saying the same thing. And I'm not, I'm not jumping on you. I'm just saying, like, like uh, Rome is thriving in Golden State, and you didn't like Draymond doing it. It's fine. That's your view. But I think you should just say that. I don't like it. How's that? (laughs) That's better. Ah, couple, keep it locked.